We're going to test our motors now to make sure they all spin and they all spin in the right direction. And to do that, I have a technique I'm going to teach you. Start with some scotch tape. Take some tape and roll it around each of the spindles of your motor. The flags are going to wave and help us to determine which direction the motors are spinning. I also prefer to point the quadcopter away from me. I'm standing right here, so this is the nose of my quadcopter and this is the tail. And I'll show you why that's important in just a moment. Take your micro USB cable and plug it in to your quadcopter. Make sure you have the orientation correct. And I like to put the wire underneath my quadcopter just to keep it out of the way. In beta flight, I'm going to hit the connect button and now I'm connected. By the way, you'll notice the quadcopter. If I move it, it moves. Nose up, nose up. Down, right, left. That's exactly how you want it because that's telling me that I've got a good connection and the flight controller is working properly. I have expert mode enabled. That allows me to have all of these tabs available to me. I'm going to go to the motors tab right now and you'll notice this box right here please. Motor test mode notice. Remove all propellers so you don't get hurt by a spinning rotor. Yes, I understand the risks and I'm going to enable that. But the motors won't run. The motors won't run unless I have a battery connected to it. So at this point, make sure you have an antenna connected to your video transmitter and connect the battery. You'll hear the ESC tone saying they're ready. Coming back to beta flight, I'm going to hit the master button and I can see all the motors are spooled up. That's perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. I'm going to turn down the master now. Now I want to know are they spinning in the right direction. Let's start with motor number one. I'm going to slide number one up very little to, just so I hear the motors moving. There we go. This is motor one. And if you notice in the chart, motor one is this motor right here. And if I put my finger in the tail, I can feel it is spinning this way. It's important to note all these motors on the back spin inward and the two motors in the front spin inward. So motor number one is spinning correctly. Excellent. I'm going to turn motor one off now. And I'm going to look at motor number two, which is this motor right here. As I slowly spin up motor two, again, just till I hear the motor moving, I can see that flag is spinning. And if I put my finger there, I can feel that it is spinning this way. That's wrong. We need to spin it this way. So I'm going to take my pad and write R. Two, reverse motor two. Motor three is this motor right here. Let's see how we do with motor three. Spinning it up just a little bit. And you know, if it goes too fast, it's sometimes hard to tell. I think that's going in the wrong direction. I'm gonna see if I can slow it down a little bit. There we go. And I can see it a bit more clearly now. And yes, this is going outward. This is wrong. I need this to spin inward towards the tail. So I'm going to take my pad of paper again and I'm going to write reverse R3. Two and three are going in the wrong direction. I'm going to go to number four, which is this motor right there. Spin it up very slowly. Okay, and I can put my finger by that tape and I can feel it is spinning this way, which is perfect. Excellent. I'm going to turn that off and disable the motors and I can disconnect the battery now. At this point, we know the motors all work and which direction they're spinning. Disconnect the USB cable for now and we're going to take the tape off of our motors. We're done with that for now. Now we gotta use another piece of software called BL Heli Suite. So I'm gonna launch that right now. 
and I need to quit the beta flight configurator. So now I'm going to launch BL Heli Suite. BL Heli Suite is used to configure our ESCs. So again, to, for this to work, I need to again connect my USB cable. And I need to connect the battery because the ESCs will not function without power. Welcome to the BL Heli Configure, where we configure, program, and update our ESCs. We're going to begin by clicking on the Connect button, and our dashboard is blank until we read the setup with the button in the lower right corner. This information is read right off of our ESCs that are powered with a battery. Without a battery, you won't get this information. Let's start with the information on the left side. There's a lot going on here, but all I'm concerned with is beacon delay. Beacon delay is how long it will be before the ESCs start chirping and beeping to tell you they're idle and powered. This could be helpful if you were to crash on the high grass and you'll have a second set of beepers, four of them in fact, to help you find your lost quad. I like to set that for five minutes. On the right side, we have settings for ESC 1, 2, 3, and 4. In each of these, we have our minimum throttle, how slow the rotors can spin, the maximum throttle, how fast the rotors can spin, and the direction. Now, if you recall, ESC 2 needs to be reversed, and ESC 3 needs to be reversed. And that's easy to do. Now that we got that set, we're going to write the setup, and, and in a moment we can read the setup again to confirm it. Now over here we also see the model of the ESC we have and the version of the software. We're going to change this right now, the version at least. We're not going to flash them individually. We're going to flash them here, flash all. Now the first setting here, MH30, do not touch this. Critical, do not touch this setting. This is the setting that tells the software what type of ESC you have. There is a lot going on here, and you do not want to touch that. We do want to touch the version. We have a lot of different softwares that we could load on our ESC. Our default is 16.5. You may be tempted to use the D-Shot configuration, but I'm going to advise you against that because we're using the older NAS32 Rev6 board, and it is not capable of understanding these digital commands. We can, however, use multi-shot, which is very good and perfectly perfect for your particular flight controller. So we're going to click that. Now we've selected 16.67 RC BL Heli Multi-Shot. With that, we're going to click Flash. Now you'll notice that this, the software is being loaded one at a time into each of the ESCs. And see this number here? This is going to change in three, two, there it is. Interesting. It does do multi-shot and D-shot. How cool is that? All right. So here we got to ESC2, ESC3, and this is going along very fast. So fast, I don't even think I'm going to speed up the video to save time. And as you see, these are changing as they go through. And in just another, let's see, five, four, three, two, one, and done. We have just configured our ESCs, but I want to confirm this by reading the setup one more time. And nothing has changed. Normal, reverse, reverse, normal, 16.67, yes, 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 five minutes, we're done. Now, all we need to do is hit disconnect. And those tones confirm the ESCs are now ready to go. With that, we're done with BL Heli Suite for now. Your ESCs are now programmed. Let's go back to Betaflight. Betaflight once again, connect, and let's go back to motors. Now, if I turn the motors on again and put them up just a little bit, 
and I can take my finger and let's see. Yes, this motor is spinning inward. This motor is spinning inward. This motor is spinning inward. And this motor is spinning inward. All your motors are now spinning in the right direction. Excellent. And let's kill that. Be sure to disconnect your motor. Uh-oh. Did I say motor? Disconnect your battery. And disconnect your USB cable. Now you know all your motors are spinning and they're spinning in the right direction. And remember when we etched our numbers on the servo connectors, one, two, three, four, you connected them right because each of the numbers are spinning the correct motor. Great job, everyone. Now we get to the fun part. We're gonna program this puppy and get her in the air real soon.